spending time in the nature. She used to talk to birds and rabbits and play with butterflies to keep her lonely heart happy. Because she was the poorest in her friend circle, she was often pulled down by other girls. Iris, what's in your hair? Uh, what? It's dirt, of course. Maybe you should tell your mother to bathe you and buy you a new dress. <laughs> I bathe every day and I don't need a new dress. I get dirt on me because I play all day in the nature. This is so not very kind of you. I'm leaving now. Yeah, go away. And so teary-eyed Iris runs towards her home. As soon as she sees her mother, she falls into her arms and starts sobbing bitterly. Oh, my sweet pea, who dare bring tears to your pretty blue eyes? Am I not pretty, Ma? Tell me. Oh, my darling, you are the prettiest and I love you so much. You are gold, my child. Really? Am I? Yes, my pudding. Iris smiles widely and kisses her mother. She then hops into the garden to play with the rabbits. Mr. Rabbit, Ma says I'm the prettiest. Do you think so too? Yes, little Iris. You are the most beautiful girl inside out in the entire village. That is why we all love you so much. You are so kind to us, unlike the other kids who always tease us. Oh, thank you. Just when Iris was playing in the garden, the king's men arrived with an invitation. It was Prince Noah's birthday and everybody in the village was invited to the royal palace for celebrations. I will buy the most expensive gown in the market. And I will buy that trending pink gown. Oh, how graceful and elegant I would look. Iris, what will you wear? The same old rugged skirt? <laughs> I'm not going to the party. Iris walks away sadly. Everybody was quite in the mood to prep up for the party. But Iris's heart was weighed down because she was poor and couldn't afford a new nice dress. She walked away quietly into the woods and sat under a clover tree and started sobbing bitterly. Oh God, why me? I want to go to the party too and wear the prettiest gown and dance the night away. Just as Iris was crying, a sparkling four-leaf clover landed softly on her frock. To her surprise, the clover tree spoke to her. Oh, how can a kind and pretty little girl cry under my shade? What happened, dear girl? I don't have a pretty dress to wear to the palace. All the other kids are getting dressed in the best clothes and all I have is a couple of rugged dresses. Oh, sweet child, your heart is heavy, isn't it? All your answers are right there in that garden. Go and find it. In the garden? Hello there, Mr. Tree. Ah, uh, what's in the garden? Let me see. Iris walks up to the garden and all her animal friends gather around her and sing a merry song. since you have always been so kind to us. Take some of my fur for your dress. And you can take few of my feathers too. You healed my broken wings once. And you can take us with you. We will sit on your gown and flutter merrily. We'll shed some petals for your gown. Oh, thank you everybody. You all are 